Hello, I'm JW. Today I'm just going to have a quick look at a problem which occurs when you have PVC insulated cables in contact with expanded polystyrene. And in this particular case this is expanded polystyrene beads which have been put into the walls as cavity insulation. Now I've got a picture here of the installation as it originally was. And we can see there that we've got the electricity meter and the cutout there. And uh, what's of interest here is the cables coming out of the tails coming out which go into that thing at the bottom left through that polystyrene insulation which I see is kind of spilling out of the cavity and they actually go through the cavity behind and then come out in the wall on the other side where the consumer unit is located and uh, this was actually an EICR which I did some time ago and this was uh, one of these things which needed some further investigation because the tails here are only 16 millimeters squared that may be okay depending on what the rating of that main fuse is because if it's 100 amps it's not going to be appropriate but if it's a 60 or something then it probably is and then of course the presence of the insulation has two effects, one of which is the fact that the cable rating is going to be decreased because if you put cables in insulation the amount of heat they can dissipate is dramatically reduced and therefore the current capacity is reduced as well. And then the other problem is that polystyrene or expanded polystyrene reacts with PVC insulation causing it to degrade. This is the cable from that installation after it's been pulled out of the cavity. And it's not terribly damaged, but we can see on this red piece here that there's various black spots there, which is where the beads of polystyrene has reacted with the outer covering of this cable. Now, if we zoom in there, we just see that uh, on the outside covering there. So this isn't particularly badly damaged, but as you can see, it does kind of scratch off of there. But each one of these black spots is where one of those expanded polystyrene beads has started to degrade the insulation of the cable and there's quite a big say, section of it around that side and probably look at some of the other areas there's again another bit here where it was obviously in contact with that insulation and the same is applying on the black although of course it's a black polystyrene bit so it's not as obviously visible on that there's another bit of the cable and we can see the same effect here with the black spots all over so it does scratch off if you scratch at it like that but uh, ultimately it's damaging the PVC insulation. If this is left eventually the plasticizer comes out of the cable and then it becomes brittle and the insulation will crack if it is moved there. And of course the other problem with putting cables through cavity wall insulation is that their current rating is then significantly diminished because the heat that would normally be dissipated into what would be an empty space is then being contained in the cable. So uh, again not uh, something that's desirable. That's mainly why you don't want to be putting cables through cavity walls because even if there's no insulation there now, the boss can come along later on and put some in there. And we can see again a similar effect on the earth conductor here, with the black marks all along the coloured insulation there. So it's doing all three of them, it just has to be more visible on the red one. So as we saw there, the cables uh, aren't desperately well damaged, but uh, certainly there is evidence of the polystyrene starting to react with the outer PVC covering. The cables here, I think, have been installed since the building was constructed, that sort of 40-odd years ago. And of course, the uh, wall insulation was added far more recently, probably only two or three years ago, so it hasn't had a huge amount of time to do that. And uh, subsequent to uh, changing all this here, Turns out that the main fuse was actually a 60 amp version, so uh, those particular sizes of cable would be okay. However, of course, they're not okay because they're actually going through the insulation there. And uh, here's a picture of the end result when all of that's been replaced. What we've actually got here now are 25 mm squared cables going in, and that's primarily so that in the future some uh, additional equipment is fitted, such as electric car charger or whatever. They're also the correct size for that. And also note that they don't go through the cavity in the wall insulation anymore. There's now a uh, duct or pipe been put through the wall, so they're going straight through there into the other side and therefore not going via the insulation. And the uh, white sealant on the end is a fire which sealants. It's one of these intumescent things so that uh, in the event of a fire it will swell up and puff up and stop the uh, smoke and flames going through. So uh, significantly upgraded there, but uh, just shows that... Uh, Existing cables can still be defective even when they were put in correctly to start with, in this case due to the insulation being shoved in there afterwards. So that's it for this video, and until next time, thanks for watching.